Hey, boys and girls, it's Friday. Congratulations, you did it. I think this week was really fun and I hope you had a really good time too. Today's math lesson is on lesson 18, session five on page 421 in your math books. And if you open it up at the top, it says collecting and comparing data. And then it says solve problems one through four, use the data. So you'll see a bunch of pears and apples and bananas. This is um, what I drew because I couldn't draw apples and pears and bananas. So the P is for pears, A is for apples, B is for bananas. And what you're going to do is you're going to look at all of those pieces of fruit and you're going to make a tally chart. That's problem number one. You're going to make a numbers chart. That's number two. And you're going to make a picture graph. That's number three. Okay, so for a tally chart, we're going to go through and we're going to count how many apples there are. And then what I like to do is I like to do them all at the same time. So if I know I have three tally marks, I can put three numbers, I can throw three, three pictures. If I have four, same thing, four tally marks, four in the number, four little smiley faces. So we're going to start with apples. We have one, two, three, four, five six apples. So I'm going to draw six and you need to write those in your book too. One, two, three, four, bundle it across five and six. Now you're going to jump to problem number, or I guess it is problem number one still, but you're going to put in the number there, which is six. And then what I'm going to do for pictures is this is a poll. Um, so we're just going to put in numbers. We're going to do little faces. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. Give them all eyes. Give them all smileys. There's your picture. Maybe this is six people like apples the best. Okay, then we need to do bananas. B for bananas. One, two, three, four, five. Five bananas. One, two, three, four, bundle it across five. Write in a number five next door, and then we're gonna draw five smiley faces. Two, three, four, five. give them all eyes, give them all smileys. Next up is pairs. One, two, three pairs. So we're gonna draw three tally marks. One, two, three, and a number three, and one, two, three, dot, 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 faces. There we go. All done. So hopefully you can see just by looking at it, more people like apples or we have more apples than bananas and definitely more than pears at number three. The next page has shoes. So it says number three, the tally chart, chart shows what children like best. Write the number for each object. So all we're doing is counting tally marks. We've been doing tally marks since the first day of school. So we got this. If you need my help though, I am here. So it has rain boots. Um, it says the tally chart shows what children like best. Write the number for each object. Circle the one that most children like. So I have the um, rain boots. And I have the furry like moccasin boots. And I have some just plain old tennies. Okay, so the rain boots we have one, two, three, four, five. We have two bundles of five and two more. And then the little slipper things, there are five and three more. And tennis shoes, quite a bit more. Okay, so remember, these are bundles of five. So you say one, two, three, four, bundle it across five. So as soon as you see those lines across, that means it's five. So we're gonna write down the number because that's what they want you to do outside of the tally chart. So we have five, 10, 11, 12. So you would write the number 12. And then you have five, count on six, seven, eight, eight, five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 for the tennis shoes. So then it's a circle. So write the number for each object. We wrote it down. 
then it says circle the one that the children most like. They most like tennis shoes. Thumbs up, is that your favorite too? Yeah, it's probably mine as well. All right, number four, circle what more children like, write how many more. So I'm going to erase, I'm gonna keep my boots here because it wants to know, do they like the boots or do they like the little moccasin thing with like the fur, like maybe it's a slipper. Um, circle what more children like. Do they like the boots or the moccasins? The boots were at 12 and these were at eight. So you would circle the boots and then you need to find the difference. So it would be 12 minus eight. I'm gonna start at eight and I'm gonna count on to 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Four more kids liked boots than slippers. So you'd write a four in on that line. Circle what fewer children like. That means what was their least favorite? Write how many. So here we have the tennis shoe. Okay, or the fur slippers. So which one was fewer? Well, this one they had eight and this one was 18. So it's definitely the slippers. And then you wanna know how many fewer, oops. So 18 minus eight, I know that eight plus blank equals 18. That would be 10. So 18 minus eight is 10. There are 10 fewer kids that like the slippers than tennis shoes. All right, that's it. You are off to do your test. So good luck. See you later, alligator.